this bird. Yeah, that's the majestic. That'd be right down there. Say, you boys don't think you could use a experienced guide, do you? Well, I already know where the hotel is, but uh, if I need to find the barber shop, I'll look you up. <laughs> <laughs> How about some Arizona beef? Guaranteed prime. He had beer. We chatted. He was agitated. He got a text message on his cell phone and left. A bunch of people talked to each other. What people? Another attorney working on Bob's defense team was in here earlier asking the same questions. Another attorney? Yeah. Real pretty, very nice. Petite, short, brown hair, blue eyes? Yes. Patty? Yes. She said she was working on Bob Carter's defense team. I told her the same thing I'm telling you. I'm going to just bet she didn't give you your last name? No, she didn't. All right. I didn't expect this kind of behavior from Brian. I didn't do anything. Yeah, we believe you, son. What did he do? <laughs> I'd rather not say in front of the fair sex. Oh, her? you got to be kidding me. <laughs> What's going on, Coach? Apparently, you guys didn't understand when I said no pranks against Hancock Magnet School. Because last night, someone vandalized Hancock's sign. Today, I found this in Brian Miller's locker. <laughs> Thrill for me to be, you know, finally, you know, because usually the way they depict a, me is, is, you know, a tutu, and so it's, it's not... I understand. I'd like a bigger part. I don't mean to imply that you can't afford a beer. I mean, I'm sure you do all right. Yeah, I guess I guess I do. So what's all right? Give me a number. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to tell you how much I make? What, are you kidding? Look, how about I just give you an autograph? Okay, okay, uh, back off. I'm getting too personal. So, this is where you come to meet the ladies, huh? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, actually. He doesn't need ladies. So what are you saying? You've always liked to do a little uh, after-hours grappling? Norm. Oh, Mac. Hey, uh, hey, Mac. Uh, what are you doing here? I'd have been here sooner, but your stupid brother drove me all over town. I had to put a gun to his head. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? Yeah. Where do they think he's going? Who's the woman? Oh, yeah, that's what I want to explain. You see, the thing with Sean's a lot more complicated than, uh, than you originally thought. Uh, it turns out that his, uh, his old lady won't let him fight. Oh, man. Yeah. So it's technically not my fault. <laughs> I do not get between a boy and his mother. His mother? Dennis Sweeney. Mr. Corver. Good to see you. Great to have you back. Larry, this is Mr. Corver, town supervisor. Larry Steckler, my number one. Mr. Corver. Call me Bart, Larry. Dennis, you remember Henry Otto, don't you? I think he was still teaching when you were there. Sure I do. Yeah, good to see you, Dennis. Larry? Hi. Oh, my office, gentlemen? Your office? Where are the walls and the door? <laughs> a different kind of office, Mr. Corver. Inmate 78. Get over here. You have a talent for making trouble. I don't like that. I'll work on it, sir. You just spit on my shoes, inmate 78. I didn't spit on your shoes, sir. Are you calling me a liar? No, sir. Clean it up. Inmate 78. I didn't spit on your shoes. Two days in the hole. Why don't you go check on Demetrio? I'm certainly not going to let him loose on the streets again. What's at stake here is a lot more important than some punk kid running wild at the beach. More important to whom? Let's just say that the United States government would appreciate it if you'd walk away from this. If that proves too difficult for you, feel free to hop on your bike and pedal over to this man's office. I'm sure he'd love to discuss it with you. Guys, get back. Hello. How you doing? All right. Seen Bennett lately? He's in the shop the other day. We're going to that uh, mansion over in Rahway. That 10,000 footer? Uh -huh. Man, I wish I'd have got a hold of that job. But don't be too quick to wish. The owner is an Iranian doctor. The walls aren't straight, cuts off a hand. Two floors, we got to run. Then we don't do floors, sir. Thank you. Hey, Lester. Yeah. What about happened with your truck? Lou, the man tried to clean my clock. Pulled to be one price and then tried to hang a few extra hundred on the bill. Uh, hey, pal. Oh, 
there you are. Thought you ran out on me. Your ham and eggs are up. You know what? I'm so sorry. I am. Um, uh, I'm out of cash right now, though. But you know what? I'm going to send you a check. Uh, that's cute. But you break my stool, walk out without paying, and then the cops tell me you stole a couple donuts? What? <laughs> No, 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 listen. I don't know what you're talking about, all right? Ah, fair enough. Okay, thanks. Oh! Oh, my God! Can I get you a glass of water or something? I think I'm going to be sick. Oh. Officer, thank God you made it. Here are the killers. They killed Chumley. And who knows who else? Yeah, yeah. What to do? What to do? What do you mean? Arrest them? Yeah, I could do that, but... You see, I've developed this taste, and this would solve my early retirement problem. Something to do with myself. Farley's flame broiled sound okay to you guys? It's work. I'll take him, Mr. Hickok. Later. Good luck, brother. Yeah, good luck, huh? Bye-bye. Uh -huh. 